research capability we have in this building is the ability to do friction impact and spark testing and we do those tests to characterize the behavior of explosives so in general the agents will uncover bad guys are making this particular explosive out in the field and so one of the first things I want to do is understand how to handle that explosive and so we can synthesize on this explosive range we can synthesize the explosive we can run it into our friction impact and spark characterization capability and understand how hazardous the material is to handle the three pillars of what we're trying to accomplish here is to improve the um, enhance the explosion investigation capability of our agency, mostly through our certified explosive specialists. Uh, but we also we also share that with our state and local counterparts and other federal partners, the State Department, Naval Criminal Investigative Service, Army CID, uh, as well as the uh, military EOD folks who may end up in overseas in an environment where they're tasked with collecting evidence. The second pillar is uh, we do things to improve the safe storage of explosives. So we evaluate things like this. Uh, what happens in a particular environment if you have an explosion? Uh, what are the safeguards that need to go into play? Three, two, one. To ensure the safety of not only the personnel working in that environment, but the outlying buildings as well. A third pillar, if you will, is to improve the safe disposal of explosive materials. And, uh, you know, a bomb technician, uh, historically, the injuries that have occurred with them are not dealing with a destructive device or, or like a real live bomb. It's actually dealing with uh, things like disposal of fireworks, commercial explosive materials, precursor materials, things like that, which they have not received that training in the hazardous devices school. We provide that training through ATF, but as we encounter new materials and new products, especially in the homemade explosives world, we will evaluate what uh, techniques and what countercharges, is it better to burn, is it better to countercharge, what's the most effective manner in which to safely dispose of that material. It all goes back to when they are out there in the field and they want to investigate these materials, they need to know what kind of situation they're getting into. So the, the research that we do here is geared specifically to give him information on how, how destructive that explosive can perhaps be, so that he knows, number one, in um, when he has to go out and clear the scene or work with the, investigate this, he knows how destructive it can be, so he knows the safeguards to take. Number two, that goes then, that then goes into the court case that needs to go on, and just how destructive would this device have been?